guys, welcome back. Today I thought we'd have a look at my elephant block print. Um, he's a bit worn out now because I've used him a lot, but he's a really excellent block to be able to get a lovely print off of and then you can use your embroidery skills to embellish him and make him look really, really regal. And I thought we'd look at him today because I'm running a holiday to Jaipur um, later in the new year, October the 1st to the 11th. And um, I've been doing quite a bit of work on how to use block printing in my embroidery. So to encourage people to come and have a holiday of a lifetime with me. So I'm just gonna get myself set up and I'll see you in a minute. So the paint that I tend to use, because I've always got it at hand, is any kind of artist acrylic paint, whether that's this type, which is a folk art one, or whether it's your System 3 type acrylic. They both work really well. Uh, I've put some out onto a tray here, and I've got my foam sponge, which I'm going to dab into the paint and load one side of my foam sponge. And keep dabbing around until you've got it a nice layer on your sponge. And then go to your block print, and it's a dabbing action. And as you can see, there's no excess paint going into the grooves. Go back, if it's looking a bit thin on paint, load up some more and go back in and dab that onto your wooden block. Okay, and keep going. Make sure you've got it covered properly. And as I said in the previous video, um, sometimes the first one I do is not good because you're, you're dabbing paint onto wood and sometimes it sucks up all of the paint. So there's my elephant ready to go. I've got a foam uh, pad underneath. Put your elephant down onto the fabric. Both hands push quite firmly and rock. And then stay there for a couple of seconds to let the paint go onto the fabric. Now hopefully when I lift this off, there's our elephant. Now he's not particularly well printed and I suspect it's because it's the first one. So I'm gonna go back in there and I'm gonna load up my paint again onto the sponge and I'm gonna dab that all over my elephant. I'm gonna pay a lot more attention this time. Sometimes I'm a bit quick, I get so eager to get the design onto the fabric that I don't spend enough time loading the paint on properly. So let's just move this along a little bit and we'll have a second go. Position my elephant, push. It's quite hard. I'm sitting down today, but sometimes when I'm doing block printing, I stand up because you can push down harder and rock from side to side. Now then, oh, that's a better one. You can see but neither of them are unusable. Um, when I use this one, I just need to pay attention on doing a little bit more decoration on that. So the idea for the elephant was because I'm, um, I'm inspired by the elephant and I'm going out to um, India, but I wanted to show you what you could actually do with something like that. Here's my elephant that I block printed earlier. And you can see he's in here and um, I do a lot of gold work, which is a couching um, technique, which they do also use a lot of metal work and gold work techniques in India when they're embellishing their fabrics. And I've used all different colors, sorts of metal um, cords, and I've edged my elephant. I've added sequins. I also added some other block prints into my design here and here, and these little ones round the edge. Um, and again, all in the, the acrylic paint. And then I've just had real fun adding my own personal touch to the embroidery, to the to the print with my own embroidery. And I, I think that works really, really well. I'm really pleased with it. So there you go, guys. A simple block of an elephant. Stamp it onto your fabric 
and then you can go to town and embellish it. It doesn't have to be with gold work, it could be with simple hand embroidery. You could put it under the sewing machine and do machine embroidery on it. There's so many things you could do to incorporate block printing into embroidery. If you like the block I've been using, then head over to colorishes.com and um, she has masses of blocks over there that are absolutely fantastic. Um, if you fancy coming on a block printing holiday with me, which is the 1st to the 11th of October 2019, head over to colorishesholidays.com or check out underneath this video, you will be able to get the um, link there. And um, I hope some of you will come and play block printing with me. I look forward to meeting you. Thank you.